All right, I'm back, and this is going to be a good one. We got Fremont Milo IPA. This is a, a new series that they have kicked off out of Seattle, Washington. Let's see. So I guess the, the stick behind this Milo series is that they're naming each uh, beer in the series after a pet that um, frequents their beer garden in Seattle. So Milo, don't know if that's a dog, cat, or other <laughs> animal that frequents the uh, the beer garden there, but let's check it out, see what Milo's about. Looks like we got 7% ABV, and that's about all they're gonna give us. So, let's crack it. A little bit of a uh, Faint citrus coming off the top. This one here kind of has an old school um, West Coast IPA vibe. It does have a nice malt backbone. It does have some more resinous piney hops. And just, just a little bit of citrus coming through. That's about that. Just kind of a traditional West Coast IPA. And there ain't nothing wrong with that in my book. All right, this is a mashup shave of a bunch of my favorite things, but the star of the show is this right here, Maddie Lindholm Shaving Supplies, and this is a tribute soap to yours truly, uh, the first tribute um, I've ever gotten from an artisan soap maker, and this one is called DK's Arctic Freeze. <clears throat> notes of lemon orange and lime you can see the simplistic ingredients list there uh, soy wax coconut oil shea butter water essential oils and menthol and for reference um, it ecto cooler and cool orange have five percent menthol citrus freeze the recent release that I tested before it released has eight percent menthol and then DK's Arctic Freeze has 13.5% menthol sitting at the top of the menthol mountain. So this is going to be fun. This is good stuff. I'm, I believe Maddie himself is the only other one who's tried this. Comes in a uh, 70 gram puck, which is about two ounces. I don't know if it's exactly equivalent or not, but that's what that is. Uh, I do already have it lathered up over here. I made a banging lather, <laughs> which I thought this was going to be uh, perhaps an issue, just because menthol is known to be a lather killer. Not in this case. I made a bowl full of lather in my uh, beautiful Lancaster Razor Works bowl, and I'm using my favorite brush in the den, my beautiful Lancaster Razor Works custom right here. This, of course, is out of my uh, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse series. And I call this one Death, because Death arrived on a pale green horse. And of course we all know Death is the tall slender character with the black cloak. It has the Lancaster V1 Badger Knot on top, which is my favorite knot in all of wet shaving. And let's get started. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm using a bunch of my favorite things, so I would be wrong for me to not mention a staple of every single shave right here. This is the Baskin Robbins Sample Ice Cream Spoon that I use to scoop uh, my soap with, with every shave. Had to mention that. I'm using all my favorite shit today. All right. Let's wet the face. We got some cold water in the, in the sink today, so it's going to be a cold water shave. And it's about to get chilly up in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. So... I would be remiss to not absolutely um, shill <laughs> for Maddie today. Maddie is a wonderful member of our community, and he just kind of he just kind of keeps to himself, does his thing, chugs along. He tinkers and and he makes soaps, and now he's making razors, and. He's doing it on a very quality, 
artisan level. I think he's very supportive of all other channels out there. And he has a good sense of humor. If you've watched his channel for a while, he does some jokes from time to time, which is awesome. He also enjoys a, a nice beverage from time to time. Taking a page out of my book there. And I think that's just awesome. <clears throat> so far, so good. I can feel a nice low level uh, menthol chill. But I know it's going to build because 13.5 is no slouch. Again, I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed that the, uh, the lather has held up so well. I remember previously lathering Maddie's soap. And, um, it was, it was my fault and my inexperience with the soap base, but I didn't add enough water and then I found that it was very, um, airy and it was dissipating on me. Um, not the case this time and this time there's a lot more menthol involved. So that is a good sign. And I gotta say, I can feel it a lot more, uh, on the cheeks. And I'm feeling it on the neck right now. The neck, the cheeks kind of jumped immediately to like a medium level chill on this first pass. And the neck is kind of building to a medium level. Let's go ahead and uh, grab the razor for today. This is the Schick Golden 500, which is my favorite razor in my whole collection across all styles. The Schick Golden 500 right here beauty of a razor. <clears throat> this is a Type J if you're in the hunt and it looks like we have the uh, supply injector blade loaded. Oh my god. And that's just buttery. Buttery smooth. Never had an issue with uh, performance with Maddie soap. It's one of those ones, kind of like, um, kind of like Lakewood soaps old base. And their tagline is um, simple ingredients, exceptional performance, or something to that effect. And uh, that is also true of Maddie soaps. Simple ingredients, exceptional performance. Now, the menthol on my cheeks is at a high level now. This has this has surpassed the uh, the mid range. I would say the sensation I'm getting on my neck is still about mid range, maybe maybe just a hair over mid. But the sensation on my cheeks has jumped to a higher level menthol. It's not the most crazy sensation I've ever felt, but I have done some wild menthol shaves. <laughs> and uh, if you're a ment head, you consider yourself a ment head and you enjoy a nice menthol shave, you might get a kick out of watching some of those. Um, <laughs> there's been some that I've been advised from multiple soap artisans not to do <laughs> because they said that the the menthol level could do um, harm to my skin and you know like an idiot I didn't listen but I also got away unscathed but I've done some shit <laughs> with these menthol shaves and uh, if you think that would be funny to watch Definitely check it out. I consider myself to have a pretty damn high menthol tolerance. I think I've proven that multiple times. And, um, don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm definitely deserving of a menthol-themed soap. I didn't know this was, this was coming. Um, the tribute portion of it. I did know that Maddie was going to make a soap specifically for me with a high menthol level, and I was flattered, um, but I didn't think he was going to throw my name on it. As soon as he did that, it went from, you know, a one-off special edition to a tribute soap, because now it has my name on it. And so, Maddie, I just like, <laughs> I appreciate you, man. I can't thank you enough for doing that. You really, uh, 
you, you're you're the first one to do that um, in the game for me, so I appreciate that, bro. Cheers. Let's go ahead and get this um, second pass going. If you guys are interested in Maddie's soaps, you know a bunch of the members in in the community, including multiple YouTubers, have done reviews on. Maddie Lynn Home Shaving Supplies. And if you want to, you know, kind of do a little market research before you buy, there's plenty of content on it. I will say in the onset, most of us are consider ourselves friends of Maddie's. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but we only consider ourselves friends of Maddie's because he's such a good dude. You can see by the ingredients list, this is a, a no-frill soap, you know what I mean? This is a, a workhorse, everyday man's type of soap base, so set your expectations accordingly. But, what I will tell you is that Maddie and a lot of Maddie's friends and followers, they love their Chevettes and straight razors. And if you don't have a nice slick soap for your Chevettes and straight razors... You're going to end up having a bad day. So, take that also for what it is. It's definitely got what you need to get a nice shave. <clears throat> if you are interested in picking up your own Maddie Lynn Home soap, I would say if you're in America... Or maybe even America, Canada, I don't know, you know. Um, definitely check out Marion the Barbarian. He would kind of be the plug for that. But if you're anywhere other than America, hit up Maddie directly. He has his own YouTube channel, simply named Maddie Lindholm. Um, and I'll tag it in the uh, description below. Um, you could also hit him up on Messenger or Instagram. He has both of those as well. Now, Maddie's a busy person, so definitely show some patience. He is a small time, um, small, small time artisan. So you're going to have to have some patience. It's not, um, you know, it's not... Not his main gig. So definitely show some patience. And uh, be respectful. But he'll be able to tell you what he has in stock. Or Marion will be able to tell you what he has in stock. Or or coming to be in stock soon. Stateside. And uh, I know whatever you pick up. It'll get the job done for you. He has many... Simplistic, but very pleasant um, scents. I don't know what I'm doing now. So deep into the rant. <laughs> Not paying attention enough to the shave. But he has very simplistic, but pleasant scents. Sometimes they're one note. Sometimes they're a combination of uh, three or four notes. But they're always... Very pleasant and smell great. This one here is a citrus combo and it smells like real citruses. It doesn't smell like candied or anything like that. It smells like realistic citruses. Looks like I uh, mowed the head off of a weeper there, but that is no big deal. The uh, menthol level on the neck has now risen to that high level of menthol being exposed for multiple minutes now and two passes of lather it's now also at a high level of menthol if you're new to the channel you notice that I don't squint very much with menthol it's not because I'm bullshitting you guys or anything like that it has something to do with my my high level of tolerance that everybody has um, C 
seen and appreciated over the uh, months that I have been doing these highly mentholated shaves. And I would say, other than the, uh, other than knocking the head off that one there, we got a very nice shave here. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and uh, take this lather off the face and we will work our way down to uh, our aftershave. Got a very nice close shave, very enjoyable. Um, me being like the head of all menth heads, that right there was a very enjoyable shave. And although I don't squint when I have a highly mentholated soap on the face, I guarantee you if I got some in the eyes, I would cry. So we still gotta be careful around the eyes. <clears throat> Man, and that cold water, when it rushes across the uh, the skin there, gives you like a an invigorating jolt. It like reactivates the uh, the menthol that's lingering on the skin. It's kind of nice. <clears throat> if you want, uh, <laughs> you need a little help waking up in the morning. You might get yourself a nice mentholated soap. It'll wake your ass right up. All right. So definitely check out uh, Mary and the Barbarian or Maddie Lindholm if you want to see what is available for you to purchase or what is coming soon in the future. Um, I definitely can't thank those two enough for being friends of mine in the shaving community and both of them have independently done things for me that... Um, have just been very, very generous, you know? Bunch of good people in the shave community. And when nice gestures like this happen to you, you just kind of like, just start spilling over with all the, the, um, the thanks and appreciation you have for these people, you know what I mean? And there's so many more out there that I could name. I could probably fill a binder with people that have been generous to me in this community alone. Crazy. All right, let me just get the, the bulk of this soap out. We'll get the rest off camera. That way I don't look like a grizzly while I'm closing this motherfucker out. We're gonna be using Purely Skinful Handmade Essentials Fougere Luxe which is a beautiful, bright, um, citrusy fougere. It has a nice effervescence to it, like a sparkling character to it. It says, clean and fresh, masculine blend with bergamot top notes combined with lavender, juniper, wild fern, fern needle, tonka bean, and black pepper. And if you do not know, this is my favorite aftershave in the whole wet shaving game and of course it has a quality restrictor on it no shit strictors here it has a nice uh, milky white color and consistency and this stuff goes on silky it's tacky for a minute but once it soaks in it leaves your skin feeling awesome it's a witch hazel base not an alcohol base but man, this stuff does the trick for me. I get some on my forehead too, just because it's that good. Alright guys, we actually finished this one in a decent time frame. So we're going to close it out. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you. Thank you one more time, Maddie, for the tribute soap. DK's Arctic Freeze, this was, this was the real fucking deal, man. I appreciate you. I can't thank you enough. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Maddie. All right. I appreciate everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.